is a serious threat to most nations, including Malaysia. It disrupts social fabric of society, the fundamental of the economy, even compromise the security of a nation. Malaysia is acutely aware of this, and hence in February 1983, it was declared as a threat to national security. This was followed with the enactment of a drug, dangerous drug act in 1985, which carried severe punishment, including the mandatory death sentence. Malaysia is not a producing country, but we inadvertently became a transit hub due to our strategic geographical position, vibrant trading, tourism, education industry, which has been taken advantage by traffickers and drug parents. Smuggling of illegal drug through air, land, sea, for local market as well for international market of the impact. The education and tourism industry will encourage most almost free flow of people to the country have also been taken advantage by smugglers. The tourists who are using social passes and student visas are being used as drug animals. A strong cabinet committee on the eradication of drugs and chaired by the Deputy Prime Minister was established in 2004 to formulate national drug policy to oversee its implementation to coordinate the various machinery of law enforcement preventive measures through education awareness, publicity, and to intensify treatment and rehabilitation of drug addicts. Adequate finance and human resources are allocated to address this problem. For awareness campaign, prevention, rehabilitation, enforcement of the laws. The latest step taken by the police is the commissioning of special tactics and intelligent narcotics group which has been tasked to investigate arrests of the drug kingpin, local and international, including drug smuggling syndicate. The squad is part of the measures in curbing drug-related activities and crime in the country. Mr. Chairman, while the drug situation in Malaysia is under control, with regular detection and disruption of drug trafficking syndicate networks, Dismantling of clandestine laboratories, seizures of drug and illegal proceeds of drug trafficking by law enforcement and authorities, but the development of ATS drugs such as methamphetamines has compounded the problem. It has found Malaysia a particularly attractive market which offers high profit returns. This has presented a new and greater challenge for the enforcement agencies in the country. Through the Pharmaceutical Service Division of Ministry of Health Malaysia has introduced a system of control substance such as narcotic, psychotropic substances and precursor chemicals. This is to ensure that they are used legitimately for medical treatment and industrial purposes. This integrates the substance, narcotic, psychotropic and precursors control by online permit, license authorization, application and issuance, and shares this information with the country's drug enforcement agencies, such as national drug, anti-drug agencies, Royal Malaysia Police, Royal Marine Malaysia Custom, Narcotic Section of the Chemistry Department, Ministry of Health. This shared information, information seems to work well for the country. Mr. Chairman, on the demand reduction effort, the National Anti-Drug Agency has been vigorously pursuing, offering treatment and rehabilitation services to voluntary drug addicts. There are 57 cure and care clinic, cure and care services center, care, caring community houses, cure and care vocational centers, cure and care rehabilitation centers, 
it is estimated that 674,287 drugs addicts recorded to have been seeking assistance at all the centers since January 2014. At the same time, the Caring Community House, the Community Drug Activity Center, providing entry drug information, while the Cure and Care Vocational Centers is assisting drug addicts to acquire vocational skill, training, and jobs. The latest of this is the mobile Cure and Care Clinic. It offers a basic treatment and screening of HIV and AIDS, tuberculosis, hepatitis B, detoxification treatment, and counseling. The mobile clinic is effective in providing services to inaccessible rural areas, especially making available medical officers, counselors, medicines, and trained psychosocial support system to the community otherwise unable to get the treatment and care at acceptable cost. Government agencies are also working with NGOs like Malaysian Aid Council to introduce medicines like anti retroviral therapy and methadone for those in demand. In demand. Malaysia has also introduced multi pronged strategy to overcome the problem of drug abuse. They are namely implementation of prevention of program by targeting high risk male teenage and adolescents. Two, implementation of prevention program in high education and institution, family institution, workplace and high risk community. Three, to empower civil society as an agent for drug prevention. Four, to maximize the use the usage of new media in preventive education and publicity. Five, to increase the cooperation between strategic partners and smart partnership in implementing the prevention and prevention uh, prevention program. Six, to garner the support of volunteers. Mr. Chairman, Malaysia recognizes for drug trafficking and abuse in issue without borders. And Malaysia will continue to work with ASEAN and other regional and international partners to deal with drug issues and problems. Malaysia will take a balanced approach between supply reduction and relentless action against drug traffickers and drug syndicates, while also recognizing that drug addiction is a complex health disorder requiring expanded accessibility to treatment and allied services for drug dependence outlined in the World Drug Strategy. On the whole, Malaysia will continue to vigorously take whatever measure it must to reduce the supply and demand in order to ensure that future generations of Malaysians are not destroyed by drug menace. Mr. Chairman, thank you very much.